is an attribute. Let's find attribute type and change it to attribute type. All right, so there's no more attribute types. We're going to save this. We're going to undo this and then play this here. Invalid path function parent constraint. Okay. Again, it's in PyMel. Question is, did it work even though it didn't love it? Invalid path. Oh, so I wonder if it doesn't. Enumerate. Selected joints. I wonder if I still have a selected joint. No, it's not anywhere. So these all should be index. Right? Selected joint in FK joint. Parent constraint, right? It creates FK joint. FK joint name. FK joint name. So let me see what this is doing here. I'm going to run this again. All right, so it starts creating this shoulder FK joint. And it looks like it did the parent. It did not do the parent constraint. It just made it under the thing. Okay. So what did I do wrong? Maybe I'll have to edit all this out. So I'll have to figure out what I'm doing wrong. I'll delete parent constraint. So I'm going to look at my old code here. Because right, I did a comma. I'm sure you guys caught that. Instead of a bracket. So, stupid mistake on my part, and it still needs another bracket here at the end to work. Right? Jeez, dude, what am I doing? There. Okay. Now let's try. Alright. Boom! Shoulder FK, shoulder IK, all parented under this clavicle joint. Beautiful. All right, let's undo that. Okay, so back over here. Now I'm going to create a, so this is still in that index, uh, or for, it's still in this loop. So I'm going to create an arm uh, parent, we'll call it paracon instead of, so PC could mean, I think other things, but I'm going to take, and this should be index. So I'm going to uh, select the children FK, then IK, then the rig joint, and I'm going to parent constrain these two to this. So this will be where the switch is. So they'll both be set to one. So it'll pop kind of right in the middle. Um, then I want to create a reverse node for each of these. 
now this is a, a challenge that I need to come up with at some point. I only actually need one reverse node, but I need it to, I could create like a for loop and stuff. Like I just need to plug it into different spots on this reverse node. But for now, it's just gonna add a couple extra reverse nodes. So it's gonna take whatever value is in it. If it's positive, it's gonna be negative which is gonna, what I'm gonna want. So when one is, something is one, I need the other thing to be zero. So instead of both things plugging in as one, they're gonna, one's gonna be one, one's gonna be negative one, and so as one side goes up, the other side will go down. So the whole start at one, and then it'll take the, negative, well, we'll see. Okay. Um, and then I need to connect all this stuff here, so. arm PC. I need to replace arm PC with arm parent constraint. So PyMail connect attribute fkik null, which is this thing up here that we went to see, made sure it was there, dot fkik attribute uh, which I created here. Uh, so that would say left arm FKIK. So this is going to go to the null, get the left arm FKIK, connect it to arm parent constraint, the W1 for the IK, the WZ for the FK. It's just going to create to the IK, connect to the reverse, connect to the reverse to the FK. So that when one is one, the other one is zero. So that essentially, uh, so that creates the hookup in the switch. What I need to do then is create uh, controls for the FK. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create empty controls. They're just gonna be transforms with no shapes. So. And that way I can go in and create shapes later, uh, conform them to how I want them to look. Um, but they're not kind of an all size. I could do an all size fits, one size fits all, all size fits one. But I'm not going to do that because I don't want to. And it's my video. So I got a little tired of typing. I'm just going to be doing some copying and pasting because I haven't thought of any like better ways to do some of this. I'm going to create a variable, fk control, create node, transform, name fk joint, replacing the word joint with control, which I have up here. So it's actually going to look like this and this. Then I'm going to parent constrain it and delete it so it snaps to that place. Then I'm going to create a point and orient constraint. Uh, on that uh, joint. So, generally speaking, with FK controls, you're only using the orient, but I have a point there in case I wanted to do something extra with it, but having it separate, I think, works better for these. And there's a reason, and now I don't remember why. Um, uh, and I want to create a hierarchy chain here of those controls. So, if the selected joint is not zero, if index is what I want this. Actually, right, so I changed, from my old ones, I changed selected joint to index. So this was just print type index. I don't really need that. Uh, that was just for my own. So I could see what type it was, make sure that it was a number when I was going through this originally. So I'm going to parent my newly made FK control to what I created was a uh, the control for the previous joint. So index minus one. So if it's not the first one, so it would be zero, one, two, three. So if I'm doing the shoulder, it's not gonna parent to anything. 
If I do the elbow, it's going to look at the joint previous. So elbow would be one, one minus one would be zero, so zero refers to the shoulder. So it takes the shoulder joint, but replacing rig, word rig with the word joint and FK with control, uh, I'm sorry, replacing rig joint with FK control, which should consistently be throughout the naming thing here. It will parent it uh, to that. And then what it's going to do is create parent, which is a script I haven't uh, put in here yet. I think I'm actually, that's a long script. So I'm gonna have to, that'll be the next thing I do is create parent script. So what the create parent script will do is create the offset node. Uh, so that all the values will be in that node. Uh, on that transform, the be parented to the transform, the actual controller that we're going to use so that all those transforms will then be zero. The nice thing with the discrete parent thing is the way it's set up is that it, you don't have to unparent uh, and then create parent and it creates a parent of the type of thing that it is. So if you wanted to create a parent joint to create a zero thing on a joints, it would just create another joint in the same place, insert it into the hierarchy in the right place and then zero out. So you would have a joint with all zero values, including translate. Uh, if that's something that you wanted, I know now with the, the inverse matrix stuff, parent matrix stuff, um, that is actually not 100% necessary, but that stuff can still be tricky. And if you're not really careful, that stuff will mess you up. So this is kind of still somewhat reliable uh, for our purposes. Uh, and then after that, we're going to um, we're going to create uh, the IK controls. So start IK and IK. So this tells you which the start joint or the end joint is. So selected joints. because I don't have a list here of the IK joint. So I could probably select that, but I'm just going to do the replace thing here. So rig joint replacing rig with IK, same as I did up there. Um, yeah. I feel like I could do that smarter, but I'm not going to spend my time there. Um, so start IK, end IK. Why did I have it there twice? I'm not sure. I think somewhere I put it twice, and so I don't need that other one. The other thing then I'm going to create and put a variable on IK hand. Uh, IK hand. So this will create a IK handle variable. Create the IK handle name left arm. And this is one I have not done yet. So this will equal uh, as a text string variable. And so this is just for naming. That way I know it's an IK rotate plane handle. Uh, the other one that I will be doing at some point is an IK single chain solver handle. And uh, that's what I want. So IK handle creates it. Here's the name. Starting joint is start IK and joint is end IK and solver is what's called an IKRP solver. So that's just in quotes. Not sure why I did different quotes this time, but I did, and yeah, that's fine. So I'll do it like that just for consistency sake. And then what I want to do is clear this selection 